Okay, let's talk about what the Supreme Court did yesterday. Despite unanimous decision, a unanimous decision by the Supreme Court, the mainstream media and prominent Dems are questioning the legitimacy of the Trump Colorado ballot ruling. Listen. And frankly, gives him a way out of uh, being held accountable at the ballot box. Unfortunately for America, the court ne isn't necessarily wrong. They're not doing their job on a lot of these big issues. Yeah. A refusal to hold this man accountable and those folk who engaged in insurrection. It just goes against what our judicial system should be about. Donald Trump, I believe, is a danger to American democracy. He can still be the president of the United States. And I thought that the 14th Amendment and our framers knew better. So here to react is Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Joe, your reaction? Well, when this decision came back, Ainsley, and it comes back nine to nothing, it's a grand slam. It's a slam dunk. There's no ambiguity. The first thought that I had was, well, even the usual suspects in this business won't be able to say, well, this is about the extreme MAGA Supreme Court that's just there to save Donald Trump, because obviously we had Kagan and Sotomayor and Ketanji Brown also join the conservative members on the bench in agreeing that Donald Trump should be on the the ballot, and instead we got the 2024 version of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You just played all of those thoughts there, and those, those are sound bites, of course. And no matter how this was going to come back, that was going to be the reaction. I mean, we saw, for example, George Conway, who's like the Michael Avenatti of legal analysts over on CNN, calling the Supreme Court fundamentally incoherent and a shoddy legal work in terms of their conclusion. You had ABC News's Jonathan Carl somehow come. Away with this takeaway, despite when Supreme Court strikes blow to Trump's central campaign theme. Trump's central campaign theme is that his opponents are trying to take him out in the courtroom instead of at the ballot box. And that's the whole crux of this argument. Should voters decide whether Donald Trump is president or not, or should some partisan judges or partisan secretaries of state do that? I think leaving it in the hands of the people is something that many would agree with, even Democrats who are sane and sober, who just want this thing decided by the people. You mentioned the usual suspects on the Supreme Court. Listen to what Keith Oberman said about them. The the Supreme Court has betrayed democracy. Its members, including Jackson, Kagan, and Sotomayor, have proved themselves inept at reading comprehension, mm. and collectively, the court has shown itself to be corrupt and illegitimate. It must be dissolved. And you brought up a good point, because if just the conservative justices had said Trump needs to stay on the ballot, he would still be on the ballot. But because it's nine to zero, that shatters the left's narrative. Yeah, Ainsley. And Keith Oberman, I guess we can't really count him as a member of the media because he's been fired so many times and has been unemployed for so long that can we still put him in this group? Oprahman also said that he wants the Supreme Court to be completely dissolved. I mean, this is how far gone some of these folks are. And if they keep talking this way, this is only jet fuel for Donald Trump. Here would have been my headline, and we'll leave it here, okay? An expected ruling, Supreme Court rules 9-0 to allow Donald Trump on ballot ahead of expected Super Tuesday romp. That should have been the headline. That should have been the takeaway. Yep. The American people will decide. If you get the votes, you win. That's called an American, a republic, an election. All right, thank you so much, Joe. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.